always there with us the gratitude the groceries the giveaway everything for the development of the society sorry if you're not audible i'm wearing the mask because of this covid situation and here is the gentleman mr japa Kalsi, who is going to introduce himself and also let us know how he is coming up with this idea of gratitude the diversity cultural coordination of different peoples from different countries where he gives away things like groceries books clothes to the children to the adults to the nhs to everyone who is in need in this pandemic situation so here he is so yes you can introduce yourself okay uh, so uh, yeah my, my name is jappa uh, jappa yum yeah that's uh, a lot of people might be quite confused that's why i have a, a Sanskrit name, uh, and I'm clearly an English bloke. Uh, my, my Sanskrit name has come from, I was initiated into the Hare Krishna movement, uh, the movement that was set up by Divine Grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami. Um, so yes, that's 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 why I'm Jeppa. Um, so, and just to expand on what you were saying, um, the reason why we actually set this, this whole thing up, so possibly it follows on from the name, uh, Jeppa Yogya. Um, but we, we at a certain point were wondering what we wanted to do. We wanted to do something. So what, what we did is we just thought, okay, Lord Krishna, please indicate to us something that we can do. Because at the moment we feel a bit bored, we feel a bit blocked, you know. Um, so I just thought, okay, uh, said to Krishna, you know, what, what, what to do? And Krishna inspired us from within. You know, Chaita Guru, you know, but, you know um, so inspired us from within. Um, and we felt interested in the idea of initially uh, cooking meals for people. This is the thing Srila Prabhupada always did. He would cook meals for people. This is why the Hare Krishna people are known as the kitchen religion. So we started cooking meals. We started cooking meals in the church hall. Um, and uh, we, it just built up. It built up more and more. We would offer the meals to Lord Krishna. And so as it built up, we got to the point where, where we had a hundred people every Wednesday and take the show. Um, then it just carried on, we carried on getting more and more food. Because we were doing this, we, we found that Lord Krishna was responding as we were doing service. Lord Krishna was giving more and more facility for us to do service. So we ended up with more and more things. So more and more things, so many things, you know. Now we're actually getting so much, um, so many groceries that every single year, uh, well, all, all the years that we've been doing it now, we're able to give out um, pretty close to a million pounds worth of groceries. Yeah? So, one of the things Srila Prabhupada used to say, he said, scarcity is a word in a fool's dictionary. So, there is no scarcity. The only scarcity is the lack of consciousness of Krishna. Because Krishna is, is, is our father, he is a very, very rich man. Krishna is a very rich man. So, as we do service to Krishna, Krishna gives us more and more. Gives us, gives us the ability to serve them more and more. That's actually the reason why we've done all these different things. The other thing, so you were saying there about um, about the fact that it, you know it is, it's very non-sectarian and multicultural and multinational. What we try and do is we try and operate on the platform of spirit. You know the, the phrase "Aham Brahmasmi," that I am spirit. So if I am spirit, the fact that somebody is from this country, somebody is from that country. Or this religion or that religion it doesn't matter we're actually all spiritual we're all parts and parcels of the supreme lord therefore we all have a chance to serve the supreme lord together so that's 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 the very very sort of uh, spiritual reason behind what we're trying to do so gratitude is all about cultures diversity inclusion and why don't we say something about your website and uh, so that people come to know that how to locate you okay. in the social media. Yeah, yeah. Well, our website is uh, it's it's known as gratitude charity. That's 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 where you can find it, and it's becoming increasingly interesting. There's more and more events of what we're doing. Um, it's, we, we 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 hand out groceries. Sometimes people call it a food bank, but I don't like the word food bank because I don't know any banks that give away anything for free. Right. <laughs> so it's actually. The loving exchanges, grocery giveaway, but also with many other things. We've got craft clubs going on, people knitting little hats for premature babies and that sort of things. Um, also, we've got a gardening club going on constantly now that people are sort of 
Um, you know, doing up the garden and making that more and more nice. If, if you see in the Bhagavad Gita, I think it is it the tenth chapter, and and uh, Krishna sort of makes it very clear that we should surrender unto Him. And then if you can't, you know, just practice bhakti yoga. But if you can't practice bhakti yoga, then just be good. Just do selfless things in society. That's basically what this is all about. It's a chance for people to do good. And you'll see that on the website. That there's many, many very good things people are doing. Um, so, uh, and then as much as possible, we try and steer people to nutrition. Yeah. So we will probably mention the link in the description box. Their website, the contact details, everything, and what events are coming up, what events is going on, who are helping, how it is going on. So right here. Yeah. So do please visit their website and comment, like, and share our channel. Thinking about that, we came to know what is gratitude doing to the society and show us around that what he is doing, how he is helping the society and. Through the and how many volunteers are there? What volunteers are doing over your day and night? So please tell me something about your day-to-day -day activities. I'll take you around and show you a little bit. We we have here a whole pile of TV sets. Now these TV sets were donated to us by a local hospital, uh, but they're kind of TV sets, but they're they're video monitors for for computers. Um, it's it's stuff that the, the, the hospital has taken out of them the hard drives. And the memory sticks. So we're getting, we've got a grant from the government to replace that, and these are all going to be going into a local school. So that's a program that we're doing there. Uh, so we just keep on wandering around. Um, so just to carry so on. These are the TVs, right? These are the TV sets. Oh, we were given, yeah, about 26 TV sets. They're all going to be done up. Oh, Particularly the person who's heading up this project is a gentleman called Tibor. Okay. Uh, he's from Hungary, and he's also quite a senior executive at, at uh, Canon. Um, so, so he's he's doing this. Him and my son are sort of fitting. You know, they're, they're buying in the materials and sort of refitting this stuff. Um, so that's going up, uh, going on, on on a regular basis. Okay. So here, what we have here, this is a rather interesting uh, recent initiative. We've got um, a whole pile of supplies for young families. Large donations of. Of, uh, of nappies, for example, uh, toiletries and what have you. Just, yes, anything that, that the people need here. A whole range of nappies, baby food, uh, baby milk. Over here we've got uh, toys. You know, after a year of a baby, the baby's sort of grown out of the, the toys, but these are sort of all will be put aside. We have people coming here all the time. Um, Comment, guys, who has played this one? Yeah. Yeah, so in the childhood, yes. yes, 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 yes. So it's great because otherwise this stuff will be getting thrown away. Right. But it comes right. here and it gets passed on to another generation of babies, right. and and then we've got a huge donation of clothing. So this is all a bit disorderly at the moment. But over here we've got uh, all the baby clothing is 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 separated into categories of age. Yeah. So we've got clothing for for five, six year olds, seven, eight year olds three, four year olds and what have you. Two so, to three, six to twelve. Yeah, so there's a whole range of stuff. They put everything people need for the for the upbringing of the children, including the baby, the, 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 the food, the baby food, the baby milk, all the clothes that are needed. Now this is all going out to people for free. Okay. Everything is completely free, right? Now if people want to give a donation, that's very nice. Okay. But it's not required. If people don't have money, they don't have to give. Um, we will give give it out to people anyway, and we make we get donations of food. You know, we're able to sort of chill it and keep it for the next couple of days. Um, so uh, the, we just finished the session. We just finished the session. So so just over the last uh, over the last few hours, we've given out uh, food to about 60, 60 to seventy families that have come and picked up food. Uh, this all goes out from here. Um, the, the way we do it is we we have all the food spread out here. This, well, as you know, you know this. We, we open the window. People can tell us what they want. Right. Then we fill up shopping basket, shopping uh, trolleys, right. and then we take it there and we hand it out the door. Okay. Um, so the great thing about that is whoever's picking up the food doesn't actually have to come in the building, uh, which is very very 
hopeful at the moment, particularly with the pandemic. Five days. Which are the days? Yes. Okay, we're, well, we're giving out food from the front here Tuesday, Thursday, and on Sunday. So, Tuesday between two and four, uh, Thursday between two and four, and on Sunday we start at 12 30 and we finish at 2 30. So, yes, there are so many foods. So you have beans, everything, so all varieties of soup, right? Everything. Yeah, and some Indian um, sauces Patak's, as well. Yes. Patak's Balti cooking sauce. Right. So. So any curries you can use them? Yeah, yeah, we supply curries. Right. It's rather interesting. I could maybe show some photographs of how this garden was even about two weeks ago. Right. Everything's been completely cleared. All the sort of the undergrowth and what have you has been cleared. So now we have a, this garden's now becoming effectively another room of what we do. And we have, we run the craft clubs and things like that outside. Yeah. Particularly because we have a lot of people together. It's, it's something that's much better we do that outside. Um, so, so that's something that's been going on on a, on, on, uh, on a weekly basis now. We have craft clubs that the people coming together and they do knitting. Maybe, yeah. And they knit these little hats for premature babies or they made a twid, uh, we call twiddle knots that people can play with you know, if, they, if somebody has senile dementia they can play with this so they don't hurt themselves by twiddling with their skin or their hands or what have you so they have twiddle knots so all sorts of nice items that are made for the hospital and these get knitted by the ladies that sort of all, all based here so see there's quite a lot happening here there's a lot of things around in, in you know we've, we've got a this space was given to us by the by by the minister the minister oliver dowden uh, his secretary lined this, this building up for us um, uh, because he was, he's been very, very helpful for what we've done. And, uh, and as you can see, I think at the moment we're actually using it quite, quite effectively. Well, every space, every bit of space is being, being used for, for what we're doing. Right. How long are you doing this or running this gratitude? Running gratitude? Well, well we, as a charity, we've been running now for just over three years. Okay. Uh, however, uh, we ran it as a social enterprise beforehand. Um, for, for, we've been doing it now for eight years. It was eight years ago that we got the inspiration to sort of do things. Right. And um, things have been going on and, and building since then. Yeah? Great, great. So that's what no, Gratitude has to say all about. Then going moving forward, we will probably interview some more volunteers, some more person. So we'll show you the entire process, day-to-day -day process, how does it happen. Like you said, it happens on Tuesdays. Thursdays and Sundays. If somebody wants to visit, can definitely come, right? Anybody yeah. can come in. Yeah. Okay, it's a free takeaway, nothing to donate, nothing yeah. to do with that. Just come along and just, pick up your groceries. Yeah, just remember if you want, to bring If you want bags. to give a donation, that's lovely. But yes. uh, if you want to come along, and just, just come along. There's one thing to remember, bring your bags and go, right? Yes. Okay, yes. see you and please subscribe, like and comment and share between your friends, families and everybody who is in need. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.